everyone. Today we are going to be drawing or painting um, a piece of a pine tree. And we're going to do that. I'm going to show you two ways. I'm going to show you using crayons or colored pencils. And I'm also going to show you using paint in case that is a material that you might have at your house. But I'm going to start using, I'm using colored pencils, but you can use crayons if you don't have colored pencils. Um, and what I need is a brown a gr and a green and a red. If you have two shades of green, even better. You can use both of them. So I have these four colors out. The next thing I'll need um, is a pair of scissors. And if you have an empty cereal box or cracker box, you can use this tool as a straight edge. And the way that you'll do that is by carefully just following the seam and cutting off the top. You might need a parent to help you with this part. This is going to create a straight edge for us as a guide. If you have a ruler, you may also just use a ruler. Um, if you decide to do the paint part, however, you will need a scrap piece of cardboard to follow on um, for that. So let me show you how we might use the cardboard for our colored pencils, and then I'll show you the paint part. Okay, so what you'll do is we'll start by right on the edge of the paper is draw the brown branch for our pine tree. And I'm just going to do that by holding my pencil right up to the edge of the cardboard. I'm going to go back and forth so I get a nice bold line. Awesome. Now I'm going to do that again. Now many of you have tried drawing trees with me before. And when we draw trees, I like to tell you that we're going to make the letter Y to make it look like our branches are... Um, kind of leaning out towards a different direction. So now I have kind of a funky Y shape. And I can keep doing this to add as many different branches as I want. Maybe I'm going to make my first branch a little longer. I'll add some more up here. Some of them are going to be longer. Some of them are going to be shorter. You can pick and choose where you want yours to go. Now, if I'm going too fast, please press the pause button and you can add as many branches as you want and then unpause when you're ready to start adding the green bits. Okay, so I'm just going to add a couple small branches to each of my longer pieces here. Great. Notice I'm trying to use all of my paper. I'm not just staying in the bottom. I'm branching out trying to use more of my paper to make this look a little bit more interesting. I'm going to add one more here. Great. Okay. And I'm ready to start adding my pine needles. For my pine needles, I'm going to start with just one color and I'm going to put some short lines on both sides of my branches all over. This is gonna take some time. So you take your time with this. Add as many as you want. Notice that my lines are short and they're all angled out. They go in a diagonal that's pointing towards the same side that my branch is pointing at. And they're not all right next to each other. Sometimes they're in different places on the branch. So you can all, always do one side and then go back over to the other side. Notice I'm pressing pretty hard with my colored pencil. I want these lines to look nice and dark. This is gonna be the most detailed part of my drawing, these, this branch. 
So I want this to stand out. I want it to pop out. So if I make it nice and dark, I know that it will stand out and you'll be able to see it from far away, which sometimes is important in art. You want to be able to see it from across the room if it's hanging up. You don't want to have to be right on top of it to be able to see all the details. So I'm adding all my pine needles and I'm almost ready to start adding my second color. And for that, it's just a lighter shade of green. If you don't have two shades of green, that's okay. You don't have to use it. I just think the variety makes it look a little bit more interesting. Okay, and variety just means you have multiple of a similar thing, right? So if you have a variety of fruit, maybe you have apples and oranges instead of just apples. If I have a variety of greens, I have multiple shades of green. Okay, speaking of fruits, we will be adding berries using that red color I asked you to pull out. So when you're done with your pine needles, again, pause the video if you're not with me. You can keep adding more pine needles. I might be going too fast and that's okay. So go ahead and press pause. Keep adding your pine needles. And when you're ready, press, press play and join me again with your red. Okay. So now with my red, I'm going to be adding some berries in groups of three right on the edges of my branches. I just love the way red and green look together. Red and green are complementary colors. You might say, no, Miss B, they're Christmas colors. And you're right, they are. They're Christmas colors. But they're also a type of complementary color. And that means they're across from each other on the color wheel. And when you see those colors next to each other, they kind of help each other out. They make each other look brighter when, they, when they're paired <coughs> next to each other. All right. So that is all that I have for you to add with your colored pencils. And, but if you would like to add a little bit of a bonus, my dog's barking, you gotta let her out. You can add some snowflakes in your background if you want your branch to be outside. And I'm just doing that with a blue. But you can also skip the snowflake part if you want. All right, well, I hope you have fun making your holiday branches here. Um, post a video or post a picture of your finished project. I'll just create a second video with the paint if you're interested. All right, guys, have fun.